What? What's up, guys? It's Wolfin. Your boy is back. But, guys, I was never really gone. I mean, like, just to let y'all know that shit. But, um, to be completely honest, I bet y'all been wondering, like, where's Wolf? Did he abandon his first channel? I'm like, no, guys, I never abandoned it. It was nothing twisted or messed up about it. I just was doing all these uploads on my other channel, but... Now I stopped on that, and I just had to come back to my channel, just in case y'all like this channel more than my second channel, but to be completely honest, I mean, it's better on my second channel, though, because y'all can see it in HD, but I still make videos, you know, on my channel. I know it's, like, been a month ever since my last upload on this channel. So really, guys, y'all can think of this as a life video. I guess this is the fifth one. Because the last one I had, I know it was four minutes at least. So fuck shit. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to just let y'all know that your boy Wolf is here. Now to kind of tell y'all what's going to happen after this life video. Now, I am indeed going to give y'all Friday the 13th gameplay, of course. Y'all already know that. I ain't going to give it to you right now because all this is is the life video. So I can go ahead and get this out of my head and then I can go on with the, the Friday video. But it ain't going to be in this one. It's going to be in the next one, guys. I'm double uploading for y'all today, okay? This is going to go out and then Friday going to go out. So, bet y'all been wondering, like, what else has Wolf been doing? Well, just been trying to get my life together and just making sure that I'm doing good for myself. Because, I mean, guys, I can't always just, you know, make videos all the time. Sometimes I need a fucking break. Sometimes I get so overstressed. I mean, like, as of late, guys, I mean, all I've been dealing with was fucking shit in life and in the game it's like they both almost correspond with everything but really it's with my life and everything i mean still still to this day i mean there's still this one dude online who won't drop a fucking shit because i killed him at least a good 10 times this jason and he could never kill me when he was jason so he's salty as shit and all he's been doing is saying shit behind my back. But every time my friend Tony would call me and be like, oh, Je oh Wolf, he's uh, he's still talking about you. And I'm like, bro, just tell that man to shut the fuck up and get on with his fucking life. Fucking, fucking dill weed. Get the fuck out, get the fuck off my dick, bitch. Like, fuck. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I mean, also beyond... That piece of shit, um, my relationship with my Miranda is still, um, it's still great. It's still a great relationship, guys. We still got some going. Miranda's just been, uh, I don't know how, but she's been having some night terrors. Sometimes she called me in the middle of the night and I'd be like, babe, you're supposed to be asleep. I know I'm supposed to be asleep, but the moment my phone ran off, at first I was thinking that it was my cousin, but it's a girl, guys. But I thought my other cousin was calling me and it was Miranda. And then I picked it up. I'm like, babe, you're supposed to be asleep. And she's like, I just needed to call call you. And I'm like, oh, okay. And she just said, I think I'm, I think I was having like a night terror or something. And when I when she was telling me like these night terrors that she'd be having, because guys, I mean, I don't really think I told y'all, but Miranda been through a lot in her life too. I mean, she's been um, thinking about a lot of things. She's um, ever since her brother and her. Her grandmother, who was a big part of her life, they passed away this year. And Miranda sometimes tries not to think about it, but sometimes it just creeps up back in her mind that she is no longer going to be able to touch 
either her brother or her grandmother or see them or talk to them anymore because now since they are dead and gone you can no longer hear them they are in a better place and guys i do not care if some of y'all are like y'all don't believe but look i'm a christian okay i believe in god I believe all his ways he's the only reason why we're here and I know that some people, like some of y'all, of, of my fans, y'all, y'all would think that it's not. I mean, some of y'all think when we die, we just rot in the ground. No, you don't. You, this body that you're in right now is gonna rot in the ground. It's not gonna fully be gone. You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Like your soul has to go somewhere. It's either, guys, y'all do what's for God first, and y'all do good things, not bad things, because all bad things are going to do is take you to the place that, where you don't want to go, and it's called hell, with a piece of shit who don't give a shit about you, who just wants to see you burn with them down there in hell. And all I'm saying, guys, is that y'all, as long as... As you do not think of dark things in your minds about the devil or anything like that, then we can talk. But to some of y'all, like me, who are Christians and y'all believe in God, when you do all the things God wanted you to do down on earth, when you die, you got a straight up ticket to heaven. And that is the place that you want to go. You don't want to go to the bottom. That is not where you want to go. And that is all I'm saying. I'm not trying I'm not going to try to just drag this on because I would continue talking for another 10 minutes and then, and then the whole shit would have been fucked. And I wouldn't be able to trim the shit unless I edited it out on my computer. So that's the only fucking way that I'll be able to do shit. So anyway, guys, but pretty much in life, you can't let people bring you down. Okay. I know there are sometimes there are people out there. Like I can say this for my cousin Cameron, as in dubs that I'd be telling y'all about and for Spark and others. We all got to go through something. All of us got to go through something every single day. And I'm not talking. So at this point, I'm not talking about the game. I'm talking about in real life. Let's be for real. In real life, there's always going to be somebody who doesn't give a shit what happens to you. They don't care how you end up. All they care about is they can't make it or they don't have a shot of making it. They want to make sure that you don't make it. And I'm going to tell y'all this and take this from your, your cool boy, Wolf underscore Zilla 12. Take it from him, okay? Take it from me. I deal with tons of shit all the time. And I'm not talking about like pieces of shit who get salty over a fucking game. I'm talking about other people who don't really know what the future lies for me or for any of y'all. They don't know how the future for us is going to play out. You're not God. God knows your future. And do I know my future? All I know is the moment, the moment when I get the shot, I'm going to do what I do best. And I'm going to find a passion that I love. And I'm going to go forth with it. That's what y'all got to do. You got to find a passion. A passion. Just remember the key words of this video in life five. Passion. Find something that y'all love to do and you do it. You don't have to talk. All you got to do is show them that you got the skills to do what you love. Because if you just go with a job that you just like, then you just, and you just really don't want to do it. You're just doing it for the money. You don't really fucking love that job. You just fucking hate that job. And there are some jobs out there that really fucking suck. So, 
basically through this video, y'all, I just want to let y'all know, don't let nobody bring it down. And Miranda, that go to YouTube, babe. And if you want to talk to me tonight, you can do that. But just for everybody, don't let no one bring your ass down. Because if y'all bring, if they bring you down, they're going to bring you down to their level. And then you would feel like basically you're untouchable and you can basically do whatever the fuck you want. That's not how life works. <laughs> That's not how it works. You got to be smart. And you got to take those decisions that you make and be careful with them. Because if you don't, in simple words, your life is fucked. And you may have just scored the biggest career. You may have just got your your dream job or your dream career. And just because you said that one thing to that one person, they are so mad at you that they almost kill you. That is the thing that needs to stop. That shit. All of that crazy stuff has to stop. And I hope all of y'all can agree with me on that because I know deep down, y'all know I'm telling the truth. So, that was basically all I wanted to say. I thought this, uh, I thought I would have talked a little longer, Paul's on that shit, <laughs> but, uh, you know, double upload, so, uh, guys, like I said, um, on this Friday the 13th video, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all what it's gonna be on, at least, um, if y'all don't know who Hollow Hunter is, look, go to my subscription, and he will be the first one, he will be at the top, which is basically my first jank. And you'll see that I'm subscribed to him. And y'all should check him out. Now, his actual name is Jackie, but he named his channel Hollow Hunter. But Jackie is the homie. Y'all know, like, when I had TM Black in all my videos and shit? I mean, if y'all go to my second channel, y'all can look up on some of those that I have. Or you can just look up the ones I had with J23S. Also, y'all can look him up. That's a shout out. Um, and, uh, basically Jackie is, he's a little more, uh, you know, you, y'all know how I easily get triggered if somebody say shit and it kind of stick to me and I'm like, bro, if you don't shut the fuck up, it kind of triggers Jackie more than that. Like, almost more than me. So, in some words, we're almost basically the same. But, the homie Jackie, he is awesome as fuck. Even though he cuss a lot, but he's awesome, guys. So, if y'all ever want to play with me and the homie Jackie, I mean, I know there's some subscribers on his list. Uh, he got at least a thousand and some subscribers. So, he got a lot of people. So, yeah, y'all should check them out. And, guys, like I said, the whole point of this video is don't let people get in your head and bring you down. Don't let them. Don't give them the power to do that. Y'all got me? Now, take that from your boy, Wolf. Now, your boy out this bitch. All right, y'all. Peace.